Alrighty, hello, welcome to Game of the Year Halloween Special 2021 Game of the Year. Am I am I late? What 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 year is it? I originally had plans to do a Game of the Year 2021 video like everyone else did. Um, but I had these big plans. I was going to cover every game that I touched that year, even ones that didn't come out in 2021. It was going to be this big video. I was going to put a bunch of effort and stuff into it. And then I never did it. And then I never did it. And then I never did it. And <laughs> so we're going to cut this nice and simple. Uh, we have three real competitors uh, for Game of the Year. I want to talk about them real quick and... There'll be a winner. Um, but first, uh, the game of the year, uh, It Takes Two. Uh, ignore the GameStop sticker. Um, I'm just playing it now on Twitch uh, with my good buddy, uh, Green Eye Gaming. So, um, maybe it is game of the year? Probably not. It's fun, though. I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it, but... I don't know. Wouldn't, probably wouldn't call it game of the year, but... I have not actually touched this game. So, we the other three games we have... We're gonna cut it right down. It's these three. These are, I think, are the three best games that I think came out in 2021. So, uh, let's get talking. Alright, um, since I don't have any of my original footage from my first playthrough, because I'm a bad YouTuber and I just discard that because I don't really think I'm ever going to use it again, uh, we're just going to pick up some new footage and go on the fly. But anyway, we're going to start with Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, the only game for the PS5, kind of honestly. Um, really the game that a lot of people um, got a PS5 for. Uh, my first PS5 game, and I'm assuming most people's first PS5 games. Um, and it is pretty good. Obviously, it's, uh, it's one of the three games I want to talk about. I think the game is super fun. I love Ratchet & Clank. loved Ratchet & Clank my whole life, so since the PS2 era. I've been playing it. Um, big fan, didn't, haven't played as much, haven't played some of the PS3 games, but got back to it with the PS4 remake, and, um, here we are just talking and not playing, good, classic, classic Cody, um, but I think this game is a very fun, good Ratchet and Clank adventure, um, the issue is, uh, the game is very safe. Story is interesting enough, um, I like Rivet, I don't really like, uh, whatever the fuck, Clunk, not Clunk, wrong character, shit. Um, I clearly haven't played this game in a while. Don't like the other thing, the other robot, the clunk, the clunk knockoff. Um, kit, there we go. Um, and yeah, no, the game is fun, it's just very safe, but I like the dialogue, it's cute, uh, it's a well voice act, it's very pretty, like, the game is absolutely gorgeous. Um, probably, still, let's say the best looking game on the PS5 until, uh, until God of War. I don't think, uh, Horizon beats it, but maybe, it's, it's a different kind of, it's a different kind of style. Um, but the issue, I almost, I was really tempted to give this game of the year, because I think if we're talking about like an actual like game score, I probably put all three games the exact same. I think they're all about eight and a half. I think they're all really fun. Um, but the reason that I think uh, this game, I don't want to give it game of the year, um, is it's just kind of fucking glitchy. Like it's incredibly glitchy. I've never played a Ratchet and Clank game that is this glitchy before. They generally have a really good level of level of polish, uh, that Insomniac polish, and yeah, no, the, the game is incredibly glitchy. Um, it's, there's not nothing like major game breaking. I think I've had to reset like once and or twice. You get stuck through walls and stuff. Like it's not no 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 major. You know, I have to restart my whole file or anything. But definitely, you know, I've had to turn off the PS4 before PS5, whatever, whatever I'm playing on. Um, and it's just, that alone, like, it's just the game was just not quite ready to come out, I think, and also with how safe they played it. It's fun, it's a fun, good adventure, but it's very safe from the story, from the world design, um, it's in, from the weapons, it's a very safe, but very fun Ratchet and Clank game, but I can't give a game of the year. Moving on. Alrighty, here we are with, uh, Guardians now. Um, I expected to not get this game because uh, I think like a lot of people, it didn't sell very well. It just, people thought it was just the Avengers. Just another knockoff of the crappy Avengers game that no one really liked. Uh, but, little did I know um, that this game was awesome. And it's really freaking fun. 
Um, there's a lot to talk about, but we'll just go through the basics. Uh, first thing, this game's pretty fun, like gorgeous, like it's decently good looking. It's not 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 perfect. It's got some texture issues here and there, but it's a fairly good looking game. Um, I really like the character designs. They didn't pull the Avengers thing of just trying to copy the MCU. They actually have like their own their own style, their own their you know they they really base them off the comics a lot, which I really appreciate. Gives the game a lot more feel than just a MCU knockoff. It actually feels like its own thing. The character designs are are fantastic, not just for the main cast, but even the even the enemies and the side characters and stuff. Really, really great character design. Fantastic voice acting across the board. All the all the guardians plus just all the side characters are acted va fantastically. Um, this game's kind of weird. It's like a story based adventure action thingy. It's a whole lot of mesh of things, um, but it's really the story and the characters that I think sell the game. The combat is good enough. It doesn't get in the way. It doesn't generally last too, like, I mean, it's a lot of the game, but even throughout the combat and stuff, you're still getting the banter. You're still getting the dialogue. You're still getting the, the jokes, and I think the game works really well for that. Um, and I don't like Square, so it feels really weird putting two Square published games on my um, top three of 2021 list, but game's, game's fun. Um, it's a shame that it's not going to get any DLC or a sequel because it sold like ass um, because everyone thought it was going to be another Avengers, crappy Avengers game, and also it was announced like three months before it came out, which is another reason I thought it was going to be bad because the trailers were underwhelming and they announced it like right before launch. So... The hopes were not high, but when I saw reviews coming in, um, I said, you know what, F it. This game actually does not look so bad. And I played it, and yeah, I really like it. Obviously, it's on my top list of of the year, so I think the game is just really fun. Again, it's a weird game to recommend. Um, the reason I can't, the reason it doesn't get game of the year, kind of, I don't know, it's really close. This was almost game of the year, honestly. It also got the soundtrack. The soundtrack's fantastic. Um, yeah, it's really not, like, the game is the right amount of length. It's like, what, I think like 13 hours. Like, it's perfect length um, for this kind of game. And yeah, no, this was very, very close to being game of the year. Um, but I just decided to give it something that had a little more creativity. At the end of the day, this is just, you know, Marvel banter plus good music, um, but like, I know the Marvel banter seems like an insult nowadays, but I really like the Marvel banter, um, also the gameplay that I've been talking about probably isn't the best, um, recording this game was definitely interesting, because like a lot of it is just dialogue, and like the best bits of the game are just the characters talking and arguing, it's, it's a weird game to recommend, it's a weird game to play, because it is so much... So much of it is, you know, just uh, just really good. It's got really good banter. It's just fun. To, it's 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 a nice interactive movie, uh, but I don't find that an insult like a lot of people do. I think, you know, it's interactive enough. It is an enjoyable experience. It's enjoyable, and I had fun. And there we go. That's the video. On to the last one. And lastly, a uh, game similar to Guardians of the Galaxy. It's kind of weird to record and make content with. Um, is the world ends with you, Neo, or Neo? The world ends with you. Can we get the title? I just, can we get the title right? Um, if the discussion and the order of these games is anything to go by, uh, yeah, this is game of the year. It's it's my game of the year, 2021. Game is just fantastic. I'm super worried about it. Super, um, just kind of not sure where it was gonna, how good it was gonna be because this. Um, you know, it's a million years after the original, and the Switch port of the first game wasn't great. I love the first game. By the way, first game is Game of the Year, whatever, whatever year that came out, 2006, whatever, Game of the Year. Don't have to look at the list. That's easy, the Game of the Year that year. All my uh, save files are gone for some reason, so... I don't know if I just screwed up, because I have a tendency of not paying attention to what I'm doing. So, we're just starting from the beginning real quick. Um, but yeah, similar to Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a game it's kind of hard to make content with, just because the combat wasn't that interesting like combat's fine very similar to that game is the combat is good enough it, it gets you through to really what you care about which is the story the game has got very good voice acting wonderful style good characters and just it's just a great just a great time it's not as good as the original 
Um, because then that game actually had fun content too, or fun gameplay too. And gameplay was actually fun. Um, on top of the story and the characters, but I think some of the banter, some of the interactions, like, like are better here. Like I do like the friendly. I like the banter here. I like the the jobs. The just the general dialogue. I think is definitely better. Threat is amazing. I like these characters. I do think that it gets in the way trying to try to be a Twiwi sequel and not a Twiwi original. So the main characters of this game do get do get shafted. Um, they do kind of get you know put in, especially at the the last quarter of the game. They do slightly get put into the back end. Um, don't as much get their own time to shine, which is a shame. But it's still really fun. Um, I think this the, this part of the video is just gonna be me talking over this the dialogue, huh? I'm not gonna actually get any combat, are we? But again, dialogue's the best part of the game, so character designs are fantastic. Just the game oozes style, the music is strong. Not as good as the original, which feels weird. Keeps I feel like I keep saying that in my game of the year. But it's I mean it's hard not to compare. Um, but it also helps that, you know. It's just it's 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 not really trying to be too much, like especially at the beginning, it's really just it's its own thing. Uh, but definitely does it is a Twee Wee sequel and very every every edge of you know the story it all it all is trying to be a sequel and it brings back you know all the all your major characters but i still think it succeeds as a sequel um, the game is just super interesting and it's just fun like i don't know what more to say the game is fun and if i have fun in a video game that's all i need man as much as i want to crap on square as much as i want to you know do other things um, the game is just fun. It's 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 hard not to crap on Square. It's hard, you know, not to compare it to the original. But at the end of the day, I really enjoy this game. It was a fantastic experience. One that I'm glad came out. It's a shame it also sold like butts, but it had really bad, I think, really bad marketing. Um, it was not pushed at all. They just thought that oh, it's a Twiwi sequel. That'll be enough. Even though like the first game was just a cult classic, not like it's not like Mario. Like the first game is. A very well received DS cult classic, but it's still a cult classic. Um, so I think Square. Ooh, cutscenes. I at least cover one of the cutscenes here. Cutscenes are really fun. I just I like the again I like the style. I like the visuals. It is just great. Ooh, this with style. This game is just fun. Fun music. Fun dialogue. Fun visuals. It's fun. It is game of the year, 2021. Um, I am already working on Game of the Year 2022. Hopefully that won't take 10 months to come out. We'll see. Adios. Happy Halloween.